supporting us. Yeah. President Trump continues to fight for you every single day. Do not let your voices be silenced. We must keep our seats in the Senate. It is more important than ever that you ex exercise your right as an American citizen and vote. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are part of the world. To all my viewers and my subscribers, thank you for watching here in my channel, in the channel of the Ambassador of God. We are happy that you are here again, that you are... Um, watching here i encourage you if you are new to this channel please do consider subscribe this channel this channel is all about you know prayer and spreading the love of god so anyway um let us pray first dear heavenly father i thank you for this wonderful moment that you have given to me in my life thank you lord jesus that you are always there for us and I acknowledge the presence of yours, Father God, that you are always there for me and everything, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to me in my heart. Thank you, Lord, for hearing your voice. And I recognize now, Father God, my, my spiritual hearing is working, my spiritual life, Father God, that my desire in my life to be closer and closer to you. Father God, whatever message that you want me to deliver, Father God, that you want me to send to the whole world, to the people of God, and to the rest of the people in the world. Father God, I pray for all the people that will listen to this video, Father God, that you will be surpasses in your own understanding, that you will give them wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discerning, so they will not be deceived to the darkness they will not be they will not be deceived of the other voice which is the enemy satan satan is the the father of lie i'm praying that the lord of lord and the king of kings the one who is speak to each and every one of you here father god this is my prayer for all the people around the world that you will lean their their ears to you and they will open their hearts to you they will open their eyes to you lord in jesus name father god i thank you lord jesus father god for this moment and opportunity to praise you and to glorify with you in jesus name amen and amen so my dear brothers and sisters i would like to share to you about because part of our video here if you are watching for the from the starting um don't forget to subscribe our channel and you click the bell notification so you will be notified every video that i uploaded here in my channel okay so because for this video i would like to share about the overview about the history how important the history in our life based on my research and my understanding and about the history because some of us i know um they doesn't like to know about the history they doesn't want to study the history if you are the student um please now on if you hear this video you must you must love the subject of the history because history is very much important in our life my dear brothers and sisters if you are a student like me if you are a teacher like me okay if you are teaching in the history see to it you are guiding your student in a proper way in a proper manner in a in a accurate history of what what you're teaching okay whether you are teaching in the history of the bible whether you are um, teaching in the history of the of your nation it's very much important to deliver to de disseminate the good information to your student okay so your student will know the accurate and the fact history okay uh how important the history in our life my dear brothers and sisters my viewers my subscriber here even in ourselves it's very much important to know the history you know why because like for example um when we go there to the doctor we you know before the doctor give you the diagnosis they they keep on asking to you the history the past okay 
and I'll give you the meaning of the history based on my based on my research based on my knowledge the history is is an event and uh, it's an event for event in our in our life in our past um the past of our like for example in our ancestor the past of our life mini history it depends what history we are we are we talking about history in our life history in our past history of your mothers your father your ancestor you know it's it's the event of the of the human being of the human nature in any shape or form but we need also to know the history the place where we are now okay that for example if you are living in the philippines the history of the philippines i'm living now in the united states i'm the history of the of the country that you are living now you must know the fact the previous history so you can understand you can relate the the past event and the and the present event okay so that's the most important that we are going to study about that so anyway um that's what i said you know when you go to the doctor you will you will before the doctor give you a diagnose diagnosis whatever you're feeling you will fill out many kind of questionnaire there like your mother what's the history of your mother they have a kind of disease like high blood pressures high blood pressure heart attack or whatever that kind of disease you know you must you must know that okay so like in our country here in united states their their founding father their history in the country is very much important if you are united states citizen you must know the history of your nation so you will understand the present you can compare the present and the, uh, the past and the present okay so like also in the bible if you are a christian if you are a born again believer i'm not talking about what denomination you are because it's not saying in the bible what you are baptist and everything or presbyterian i never read in the bible about the denomination i'm talking about if you are the believer and the follower of jesus christ the born again believer born again in spirit okay so we have also to, we need also to know the history of the bible okay the forefather our forefather you know our from the beginning from the genesis exodus leviticus numbers up to the revelation so we must understand of that so why i'm trying to explain this one because um in i'm just sharing only in my in my mind i said i will read the book of nehemiah i thought nehemiah is a prophet but nehemiah he is not a prophet okay he he is not belong to the category of the prophets of you know the prophet of god because nehemiah he is belong in the he is belong in, of the covenant and history of israel that's what it says so the reason why why i i say that because my bible verse i'm trying to give you an overview here my dear brothers and sisters so i'm just not making my own you know so i pray whatever the lord put me in my heart that inspired me to pray that come to my mouth it's that's only a message i'm only a messenger from god okay we just deliver it you know we just only tayo lamang ay tagasunod tayo lamang ay servant ni god kung sinabi ni lord sa akin na magpray ako and then read the bible so i need to follow that i don't want to follow with my own so yun na nga guys and by the way we are we are at the end of the month of the year okay it's december 8 already 2020 so before anything else guys are you excited of christmas what are your wishes what are your wishes what is your desire in your life so even though we are facing this kind of um crisis in the world you know 
there's still room in ourselves to enjoy, to rejoice, okay? So by the way, yan, Nehemiah is the part of the Israel Covenant history because I will read the book of Nehemiah in the first chapter is the Nehemiah's prayer. So I will read that. That prayer of Nehemiah, I will, I will accept that. That's also my prayer for part of my prayer here in, in this video, okay? So before anything else, guys... Um, Nag-pray na tayo. So, let's read the... I have the... Some... The Holy... The Holy... The Holy Word from the Bible. I call the Holy Word from the Bible because I'm referring the Holy Book, the Holy Bible. Okay? I'm a, I will read from Philippians chapter 4 to chapter 8. Okay? So... Rejoice in the Lord always. I always say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness and evidence at all. Let your gentleness and evidence at all. And the Lord is near. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious in anything but in every situation. But in every situation by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God, okay? Pause for a while, okay? Do not be anxious for anything and everything. Whatever your request, whatever your petition, present that to God. If you are confident that you are talking to the Lord of Lord, He is the great God. He is the God of heaven that He will give us success. That we can pray confidently to the Lord. If you are asking for something, you pray confidently that the Lord will hear your prayer, that the Lord will, will grant your request, okay? And let us always be thankful when we present our request to the Lord, okay? In the peace of God that we transcend in all understanding will, will guard your heart and in your mind in Christ Jesus. Okay, and verse 8, it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, and whatever is right, and whatever is pure, and whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything and excellent to praise, worthy to think about in such thing, whatever you have learned or received or hear from me, or seen in me, put into practice, and the God and peace will be with you. Okay? Napakagandang passage, guys. Be confident when you pray something, when you ask something to God, be confident. That's what I am. When I pray to God, when I present my request to the Lord, I'm confident that the Lord will answer me. Okay, I've been, I've been fighting, I've been fighting for this kind of situation in United States. I am so proud, I'm part, I'm, I'm praying for the Tim Trump. Even Trump doesn't know me, but the Lord God know me. We are the David. We are the David. No matter how big Goliath is, we can defeat Goliath. Goliath is nothing with God. David, he is the small one. He is the small one, okay? But David defeat Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not all about sword, but in the word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the passage that I read in Philippians chapter 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, it's wonderful. Whatever I'm asking to God, I am so confident that the Lord will hear my my request this is my prayer this is my request lord i'm praying specifically that the lord will answer the prayer that i'm praying actually my dear brothers and sisters that's the way i pray when i pray i want to pray with, with an authority and i'm confidently that the lord will hear my prayer that the lord will answer my prayer it's not immediately but i am confident confident that he will answer my prayer. That's why he always put specifically 
specifically in my mind is speaking to me in my mind i don't want to ignore that i don't want to ignore that voice this morning he want me to pray the about the the leaders in the battle state ground in united state okay he want me to pray for all these people that who involved in this election fraud because the lord i know the lord there are so many answered prayer al already i've been praying for and um, i'm releasing the video here in this channel uh, not all i pray i release here but when the lord said to me like now pray and so the people can hear this this is the message from the lord i will release this every day we are praying for united states for the people of god we are the voice of god we are the voice of god we are fighting for this battle this battle is not all about the pol politics this is all about between the good and the evil you christian brothers and sisters if you are watching in this video if you are listening this video is probably the lord is is speaking to you this is the battle between the good and evil because satan is using many people he is using many people he's using the media he's using the rich people he's using the elite people he's using those people are educated okay so do not be deceived my dear brothers and sisters please finish this video okay so so this message is so the people will will hear for all around the world whoever visit to this channel they can hear whatever the lord put into my heart to be message okay to release this message okay so for today i will read first the nehemiah the nehemiah chapter one not all the chapter one because nehemiah he has a he has a prayer prayer for the people the people of God, my dear brothers and sisters. So I will read from the book of Nehemiah. I will give you an overview about Nehemiah. As I said, Nehemiah, he is the covenant, the history of Israel. Okay, he is in that category. Okay, the word of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah, in the mouth of Kisab in the 20th year, and while I was the, in the citadel of Susa, Hanani of the brothers came from Judah, and some and the other men, and questioned them about the Jewish remnant and had to survive, survive and excel, excel, and also about the Jerusalem. They said to me, To those who survive, excel, and are back to the province are the great trouble and disgrace. And the wall of Jerusalem, Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates is, had been borne with fire. When I heard for those things, I sat down and weep. For some days I mourned and fasted and prayed before God in heavens. And then I said, okay, that's Nehemiah. Nehemiah, he is the job of Nehemiah. He is the cupbearer of the king. Okay, I will continue. The Nehemiah's prayers, he said, in verse 6, in verse 6, and verse 5, Then I said, continue, I am reading from Nehemiah, Lord God of heaven, I greet awesome God, the great and the awesome God, for who keep his covenant, love for those who love him, and keep his commandments commandments let bear your ears be attentive and your eyes and open your ears of prayers this your servant praying before you day and night for servant and people of the israel i confess the sins of israelite and i claim this one this is my prayer for this united state lord jesus I confess the sins of Israelite, according, including to myself, my fathers and my family have been committed against you. We have, we have acted a very wicked towards you. We have not obeyed the commands of decrees 
and the laws that you have given your servant Moses. Remember the instructions that you have given that you have given your servant Moses, saying, If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the nation. But if you return to me and obey my command, and even if you are exiled, people are the farthest horizon, and I will be gathered from you to bring them in the place that I have been choosing and willing for my name. Verse 10. They are the servant of your people, want to redeem in your great strength and the mighty hands, and the Lord will hear an attentive prayer. The attentive prayers, this is your servant and the prayer for your servant who delight and revering your name. Give your servant success today by granting him for the presence of your man. Yes. He prayed this one. He prayed this prayer. He said, he revering to your name and give your servant success today that gaining, that granted him from the presence of the of this man okay he's he prayed and that time this prayer because he is said i was the cup bearer i was the cup bearer to the king you know nehemiah he is the cup bearer to the king so he prayed that the servant will give i mean the king will give him a favor okay so my dear brothers and sisters you know um my prayer for today my prayer focus for today is i will pray for the in the united states the continue praying for the legislative and all the legislator that they will that they will listen to the lord my prayer for this and um that they will give favor they will give favor for the people of god and for the for the attorney we are the people of god we are the voice of god so i the reason why i read the nehemiah the chapter one the prayer of nehemiah he prayed in confidently that he said that you will grant me today and i know the lord will grant me today whatever i pray that he put into my heart and into my mind that he will grant me and i'm confidently that i'm reading from philippians chapter 4 5 6 7 and 8 i am rejoicingly and be thankful and gladness i will present my request to the lord my request to the lord is i pray that he put into my heart that that he will give me the favor this morning there is a hearing wherever part of the hearing of the senate or wherever the legislative the legislator will grant will grant the 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 favor to the to the trump team so that's my prayer for today and this is part of the this is part also the message of this ano pay attention attention to all biden supporter media big tech you are elite whether you are rich whether you are whatever you are professional non-professional you you deceive the enemy deceive you about biden because biden biden he is inspired by the devil together with the democrat people they are deceived they are blind so my dear brothers and sisters do not be blind do not be blind because the lord of lord and the king of king and this uh, group of people the democrat party they are they are full in spite of the evil one okay this is all i can say we are fighting for this battle we are the people of god um you don't know us we are the people of god we are fighting for this spiritual battle i know in the mighty name of jesus you are goliath and we are david remember the history in the bible david defeated goliath and david defeated the army of palestinian okay he is a small boy that time 
So we brothers and sisters, we are the voice of God. I encourage you, whoever are trying to discourage you not to read the Bible, not to not to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because we want the truth, okay? Don't listen to them. Okay, if the Lord is with you, no man is against you. Nobody will against you because God is mighty. God is great. Okay, he is coming. He is coming. It says also the Lord is near. The Lord is near for us. We brothers and sisters in Christ, we the believer of Christ, the Lord is near to us because the Lord is living inside us in our spirit. So my, my prayer for today is specifically that all the people that support their Biden, the media take, do not hide the truth. Do not hide the truth because the truth will come out. No matter how you hide the truth, the truth will come out. It will come out and the Lord will prevail. This nation is belong to the God, to God. Belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the King of King. He is the Lord of Lord. Okay, do not hide the truth. Expose that because the Lord says he will expose he will expose this lie. He will expose this fraud. So we, the people of God, we are fighting for the truth. We are fighting for the for all the for all the fraudulent. This election is is fraud. No matter how you hide, no matter how you delete and everything, the Lord will make the way. It's just like the Lord will make His way for His people of God. Many history, as I said, go back to the history in the Bible. Moses and his people, he crossed the Red Sea. God will make the way. Okay, so my dear brothers and sisters, I am fighting for this. I am the voice of God. Whatever the Lord put me in my heart, I am representing for the people of God, for my brothers and sisters. So I will pray for the legislative and all the legislator that they will um they will they will do their job correctly and properly and to their conscience because they have still a conscience even though they are wicked they are doing bad things they have a conscience the lord can speak to them my prayer for them that the lord will open their eyes that they will not hide the truth Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden and Hunter or Kamala Harris, this is my message for all of you, the Democrat Party. You can run, but you can hide with God. The Lord is with his people. We are many people fighting for this battle. One of me, I'm fighting for this. I'm praying for this. We are praying for this hard. The Lord will give us, will grant us. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this wonderful moment that you have given to me, Father God. Lord, I pray, Father God, for all the people who are involved in this kind of fraudulent activity, Father God. I pray, Lord, Father God, that you will expose the truth and you will reveal the truth. The battle is not ours, Father God. Lord, you speak to your people. You speak to your people of God, Father God. You speak, Father God, whoever is that that you are, that you are giving the message to to deliver the message out there to the world to the universe so father god i thank you for these prayers and i believe you will grant me you will grant my request father god like nehemiah that his prayer is to grant the request and to grant that you will bless me you bless nehemiah that you will bless me also lord father god that you will give this favor father god i'm praying for all the legislative father god that they will do they will they will execute their work father god all the representative father god the lawmaker lord father god that they are not a they are a lawmaker they are not a lawbreaker father god i father god i thank you lord father god for this wonderful um day father god that and every hearing father god and every battleground state especially in georgia father god that you will expose the mayor the legislative and all the congressman and the congressman and the governor and the senator father Father God, who are the people involved there, Father God? This is my prayer, Father God, that you will expose them and the Trump um, legal team, Lord, Father God, that they will do their job thoroughly if they have a forensic investigation and forensic um, 
research to to present the evidence, Father God, that you will grant this request in the name of Jesus, that they will have a hearing, that you will give favor for those who are for those are seeking for the truth in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for all the lawmaker, Father God, that they are not a lawbreaker also, Lord Father God, that they will that they will ex execute whatever their job, that they will they will do their job properly in a balanced way, Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, for all the workers in the pool and the watcher and all the People who witnesses, Father God, I pray for them, Lord, to all the witness that you will grant them, Father God, that you will give them a supernatural protection from you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for them and their family that the enemy cannot touch them, cannot anything, cannot even think about them, that they are boldly and confidently the full of courage to testify to the public and to the whole world. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for this prayer in the name of Jesus, I pray. And I pray also, Lord, for Sidney Paul, Father God, and Rudy Giuliani, that you speedy recovery for Rudy Giuliani in the name of Jesus. I pray for the Trump team, Lord, Father God, that you will give them full wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discerning. I thank you, Lord, Father God, that we are more than conqueror, Father God. I pray also, Lord, Father God, for all the people, Lord, in all the battle state ground, Father God, the Arizona, the same, and all oh, this is my prayer for them father god and all the governor the the governor and the congressman father god and all the poll worker father god lord that you are there in their conscience father god that they will be convicted whatever the sin that they are committed whatever the wicked ways that you will expose them father god they are hiding in the darkness that you will illuminate father god the the light to them so they cannot hide in the name of jesus so the people of god will be a megaphone the megaphone that people of God can hear that they will be together in oneness in the spirit to pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father God. I thank you, Lord. Give me and grant me in Jesus' name, Father God, with full of courage, Lord, uh, full of boldness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray also, Lord, for the Supreme Court on, in Georgia, Father God, in Pennsylvania, in the... Lord, in Philadelphia, Lord, Father God, in Wincansem, and Arizona, Lord, Father God, in Nevada, and all the states, Father God, that there is, uh, including of all the states that who, who did the, the, they're hiding the throat, Father God, that you will expose all of them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray also, Lord, for all the media, the Fox News, the MSBC, Father God, the CNN. I pray for their CEO, Lord, Father God, that they can they cannot hide, Lord, Father God, that you will expose them in the name of Jesus, that whoever are, are broadcasting, Father God, that they... It will come out to their mouth the truth. They are hiding the truth. You cannot hide that the truth for longer. The truth will come out. Fox News, MSBC, and and other big tick, Father God, expose them in the name of Jesus, their wickedness, Father God, so they will ashamed their salt to the nakedness, Father God, in the name of Jesus, expose them, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, you are the God of heaven, you know these things, Father God, you know these events, you know these people who are doing this, in Jesus' name, Father God, expose all the people, in Jesus' name, Lord, Father God, thank you, Holy Spirit, Spirit, Lord, expose all the media, Lord, that they are lying, their lying tongue, that they cannot speak the truth, Lord, Father God. Lord, speak them, Lord. Let them to speak in their mouth, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let them speak the truth in the name of Jesus, Lord. Expose all the people who, who make this kind of things, Father God, that they are hiding the truth, Father God, the truth will come out, the truth will sit free. Father God, this is my prayer, Lord, that you will give the favor to the people of God in the name of Jesus. I'm representing, Lord, for the people of God. I'm representing, I'm praying for the President of the United States of America, that he will full of courage, that he will bold, Father God, enough boldly, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this prayer. Father God. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. What else, Lord, that you want me to pray, Father God? I pray for all the Supreme Court, Father God, that all of them, they will agree to receive this case, Father God. I pray for all the nine justices that they will agree together that you will show them the evidence, that you will present the evidence that the Lord of Lord, the God of heaven, will present the evidence in every face and every heart and every eyes of the justices, Father God. God, that they can accept enough that this is fraudulent, that this is not good. Lord, I this is my prayer, Lord Father God. I thank you, Lord Father God, that you open the heart of all the justices, the nine justices. I pray for all of them, Lord, that you open their heart and their mind and their ears, Father God, so they can hear the clear voice that they will accept this case, that they can feel their law their conscience lord father god for the sake of their children's children for the sake of the future in this in this country in the name of jesus lord father god yes lord i pray for that lord in jesus name um the lord's inspired me now i will pray for the battleground in georgia that there is a runoff election of the senator i pray for kelly loffler and i pray also lord for david Frido that you will give them favor in the name of jesus lord father god i feel that now lord in jesus name that you will spoke and every citizen and every household to georgia that they will go out to vote that run up kelly laffler and and david frudo i'm praying for them in the name of jesus lord father god i thank you lord for giving them favor i am your child father god i claim lord father god that you said that you will never leave me that you will never forsake me lord this is my prayer i'm praying lord i'm re releasing this message to the whole world father god lord that you will give favor um kelly and david frudo father god for this election father God, that you will defeat Goliath, that you will defeat the enemy. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father God, we come night not by the sword, but in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Father God. Thank you, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord. Lord, thank you, Lord, that you give us the victory, the victory for the Lord Jesus Christ, the victory for your people. I thank you, Lord, for this wonderful things that you have given to me this morning. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for giving favor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is it for now for this video and thank you and have a wonderful day god bless us all and this is my message for the president of united states of america the ambassador of, of god channel here if you happen that you can listen this um, we are praying for you we are fighting for this battle i know you are fighting also for us we are fighting this battle the battle is not ours my dear, uh, for their president donald trump the president of united states of america we are thankful your good work and for the attorney sydney and rudy giuliani you did a great job Thank you so much for your wonderful um, hard work. Uh, we are praying for you that the Lord give you guidance and wisdom and surpasses. And the understanding is, you know, you are awesome people. You are the patriotic. We are here. I am the warrior of God. We are praying for you. So, President Donald Trump, I thank you for your hard work. Thank you for fighting for us. Thank you for everyone here in the one who listened to this video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. And always be safe. Always remember Jesus loves you.